Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to show you how to uh, design a new application using the web API projects. So first of all create a web API in ASP.NET Core and after that use this web API in web application. So web API, select a web API from the context. After that you can add model, controller and uh, the services. So uh, here we have a model that is a student in which you can add uh, the two property like ID and the name and after that must to add a data for your context. So add a context class and that context class is inherited from the DB context class and DB context class is actually exists in Microsoft dot entity frame uh, entity framework. Okay. So in the DB context class, create a constructor of the same uh, constructor. In the constructor, you can initialize the DB context options. Okay, there is and in the db context options pass the same class and there is options okay and after that you can uh, add a db set for the model that is student so create a public property for the students class to communicate with the student table okay nice now in the startup.cs file uh, add a service at db context to create a database for the same connection uh, with the same connection string that is default connection and resolve this issue by using remember that the context is actually exist in that data section so pick up hit here it does not uh, pick the http uh, i hosting file and that is the connection string you can pick this connection string from uh, any project, any web application project that is available. In, after that, you can um, manage your package by using package manager console. So migration, uh, do some migration like add migration first. And oops, getting error. No database provider has been configured. Or, okay, the same class uh, with the base class call in the context so open the context and after that you can call the base that is the super class object that is the super class object in which you can pass the uh, context that is options and after that you can migrate your project that is uh, add migration the name of the migrations after that you can uh, call the update uh, database okay uh, your changes occurs successfully. Now uh, come to the application settings. Here you have a connection string is there with the name of test web API and uh, you can resolve this issue by using uh, uh, your connection and select your test web API from the wizard and here is your database like students within the table. In the students tables we have null entries so you can pull up some data in the students table okay that's fine <clears throat> now uh, after that you can create a, a web application to pick that data remember that uh, controller is not created in the uh, web api i created but must to careful and must to listen about this so in the web application first of all add a helpers uh, folder in which you can add a helper class both folder name and the class name are the same so um, remove this line uh, remove this class and uh, create a new one like a student api in which you in which uh, in it you can uh, access the HTTP client with the initial method so 
create initial method with the return type is the HTTP client. So variable client equals to create a HTTP client object. Initialize the base address uh, of the HTTP client that is new URI, new uh, URI, and in the URI you must to pass the um, address of your web API that is right click properties debug and that is your and paste it here and return that uh, client return client okay that's fine okay now after that you can add a controller but before we add in the application controller must to add controller in the web api for the get all the data and return that uh, return the list of the data okay you can check it so first of all add a controller in the web api first of all a web api actually um, call a route the name of the web api is the web api so you can trace it api and the controller name so controller okay in which you can add the application db context that is context it here so private context and the context is actually av available in using uh, the namespace of your application web api uh, test applications under you have to create a context object in the constructor you can initialize that object uh, underscore context equals to context okay that's fine now after that you can get uh, now you can create a get method to retrieve all the students data so easily you can uh, get all the data by using list uh, of the type of the uh, list of the student so get uh, so this is the fine and uh, written uh, and the list of the data so underscore context dot student dot to list that get method is actually uh, pick in the web applications so create a new controller under the web applications create a new controller okay uh, i work in the existing existing uh, in the existing home controller so first of all uh, student api that is created in the helper uh, uh, folder and the st uh, student api method new student api and that api actually uh, get the data by using the base url base address so asynchronous task return the task and uh, after that make an object of the uh, http client that is the student api and call the initial method okay so first of all copy that model folder in the model model also in the web applications so if you can create the same it's it's not a, actually a model it's use a view model here okay so list of student student equals to oops new list of student in the student http client resolve system dot uh, net dot http underscore api dot initial okay you can get the url of the uh, web api in the client section so http response response is uh, underscore oops remove this actually here we used await keyword uh, uh, await and uh, use the client dot get async on here we have used get method asynchronously call api and the name of the api is the students so students hit here okay student okay that's fine now you are the base url and if the response is check the response class if response dot is 
success status code that is okay i mean to say 200 then you can use this uh, status code code by deserialization of your object so deserial after that deserialization your result will be getting from your file uh, variable result equals to res dot content dot read string uh, asynchronously dot result because the result is available in the res object so res dot content dot read after that you can deserialize that uh, result convert dot deserialize object and what in the form of the list and the form of student list result and return to the student object so thank you very much for watching this video and create that uh, add a new view for this index method is the type of the list so thank you very much for watching this video and keep watching my all other videos which is related to asp.net core okay and get your result thank you very much for watching and please don't uh, forget please subscribe my channel if you like this video thank you very much